Okay, what if you're asked for the equation of a parabola that has certain x-intercepts and all you're given is another point on the parabola? You could also just flat out be asked for the equation of a parabola where you see what the x-intercepts are and you could find a point on it. The deal is that all of the parabolas that go through two particular x-intercepts are a family, whether they open up, down, are short, are tall, are kind of flattened out. They're all part of the same family because they share the same x-intercepts. And to find the equation of them, what you're going to do is use the x-intercepts to find a general equation. I'll show you how to do that. And then use the point that you're given to solve for a, which is something we're going to build into our general equation. Then all you have to do is restate your general equation but fill in your a. And again, I'll show you how to do that. Suppose that a parabola has x-intercepts at 3 and negative 4. What that means is that the general form of the parabola is y equals we know that we have a factor of x minus 3 because the x-intercepts occur wherever the factors are, but we flip the signs. If the x-intercept is 3, x minus 3 is a factor, and minus 4 means we have a factor of x plus 4. Now we don't know what number is in front of all this, so we call it a for now and this is the general form. This represents the family of all the parabolas that have these x-intercepts because that's all we've stipulated is that the 3 and negative 4 are the x-intercepts. What I have here is a graph of some of those parabolas. Look, they all have an x-intercept at 3 and at negative 4, but some of them open up some of them open down, some of them are way flatter than the others. How tall or flat or short or whether it opens up or down is controlled by this A. And that's what we're in the business of finding here. To do that, we need another point on the parabola. Here, we're given that the y-intercept is 48. That means that the point 0, 48 is on the parabola. That's the definition of a y-intercept, when x is 0. So, when x is 0, y is 48. What that means is that when x is 0, see how I plugged in 0 for x? y is 48. And we can solve for a here. 48 equals a times negative 3 times positive 4 and when you multiply those together I get negative 12 a. I'm just going to move over here. To solve for a here we divide both sides by negative 12. That way they cancel out here. Negative 48 divided by negative 12 turns out to be negative 4. And so, the equation that we're talking about here, which has a y-intercept of 48, is negative 4 x minus 3 x plus 4. If we were given a different y-intercept, we'd have a different a. But the x-intercepts would be the same. We can do this the exact same way when we're given the actual graph. Clearly our x-intercepts are at 4 and negative 2. So the general form of the equation is a x plus 2 and x minus 4. Now if only we had a point on the parabola. Oh wait we do. When x is 1 y is negative 4.5. So, y is negative 4.5 when x is 1. So we plug in 1 for x and negative 4.5 for y. 
then solve for a. Negative 4.5 is a times 3 times negative 3. When you simplify that, you get 3 times negative 3 is negative 9a. And to solve for a, we divide both sides by negative 9. Negative 4.5 divided by 9 on my calculator turns out to be 0 0.5, or if you prefer, 1 half. And so, the equation of this parabola is y equals a times x plus 2, x minus 4. We've built in our x-intercepts, and we've built in our a based on the point that we were given that lies on the parabola.